Hello and welcome to Rate My Cigar. So tonight I'm going to be doing a review on a Davidoff. Now Davidoff is a brand which I haven't really done many reviews of on this channel but it's one which I'm definitely coming to like. Now I've tried a few of their sticks recently and I've actually been really pleasantly surprised. So I've been on like a bit of a Cuban mission recently. I've only really been smoking Cuban cigars so it's nice to sort of venture back into the new world scene again and uh, try a couple of different sticks. So this is the Davidoff Anniversario Special R. So it's a Robusto, which is a five by 50 ring gauge. Um, yeah, really pretty looking stick actually. Uh, so it's an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper and the, uh, the filler and binder are both Dominican. Now it's a Pilot Seco uh, binder and a Pilot Ligero uh, filler, I believe. Now, I haven't actually tried one of these cigars before, so it's basically a complete blind test. I'm just going to uh, light this up and basically see what I think. So, straight away, on the, obviously the pre-light, just having a smell, it's, it's got a real like sweet tobacco, uh, and like sort of a hay uh, smell to it. Uh, the wrapper itself is really nice actually, very very smooth, isn't massively veiny, uh, yeah quite a pretty cigar. So I'm going to cut this now and I'm going to be using a V-cut which is my sort of preferred cut of choice. I tend to finally get, get, tend to get a better draw of a V-cut so I'm going to light this up and uh, see what we think. So I'm, I'm sort of expecting good things from this. Um, I've tried a couple of different uh, sort of like uh, Vitolas from the range recently, like small Perfectos, slightly larger, um, very like thinner cigars. And uh, yeah, I've, so I've definitely started to enjoy the Davidoff brand recently. Um, this is not a massively long smoke, obviously only being robusta. I'm gonna assume it's about sort of 45, maybe 50 minute mark. So can't imagine it's gonna be a huge amount of time. I say mostly I've been smoking a lot of like uh, like much larger sticks recently but it's nice to have a robust over now and then. they're great for like short dog walks and just sort of like when you're out and about and you haven't really got a huge amount of time so wow the smell straight away when I go and slice it it's got like a really like a, a sweet caramelly sort of smell to it. it smells really appealing actually it does smell really really nice I'm hoping it's as good as that smell it smells lovely So this is one which I'm also going to get Darren to try as well, so I, ha I have a feeling this might be up his street. I've got a few friends who've tried these and uh, everyone seems to rate them and uh, sort of rave about them. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what sort of flavours evolve from this. Wow. So it starts off with a hint of spice which I wasn't really expecting uh, but incredibly creamy very 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 creamy and uh, the mouth feel is uh, the smoke is very very full on this hmm very quite tight quite a nice tight pack stick as well hmm so I'm getting a bit of I want to say red pepper on the retro hail. So there's like sort of a definite hay. I want to say like a, a cream hay, uh, red pepper, definitely red pepper for sure. But interestingly, it's got like a, a salty note, which I've noticed in a few cigars as well. Mm. yeah very 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 pleasant definitely very pleasant there's like a nutty note I'm picking up in there as well I want to say a like a maybe a peanut it isn't like a massively sweet nutty flavour like an almond or a uh, like a, a hazelnut quite yet anyway definitely sort of peanutty so I've made my way through the thir first third and I'm just into my second third now. So flavor-wise, it's actually been very, very pleasant. It tastes like quite a high, like a high-end stick, a high-quality stick. Um, the flavors are very sort of like crisp in it. Uh, very, very nice as well. 
So obviously to start with, I had like the cream, the hay, um, the peppery notes, which was fairly prominent as well. Um, I had like wafts of like vanilla, uh, cedar, like a salty flavor, um, peanuts coming into it as well. Uh, just yeah, really nice first third to be honest. Um, it's a slightly drier smoke as well. Uh, but yeah, so so far I've been very impressed with it. Um, in this into the second third, I've noticed like it's getting a bit sweeter. Uh, there's like hints of like a, a, almost like a, a very very small underline of chocolate in there as well. Um, I've definitely still got the cedar going on, uh, vanilla, uh, cinnamon. Uh, the pepper notes are definitely still prominent in there. They're still there, especially on the retro hail. The retro hail is fairly strong, but again, not really punishing, which is which is nice to be honest. And it has some sort of like I want to say like a floral quality to it, which I wasn't expecting out of this to be honest. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, like a chocolatey vanilla. Like a spicy, or I want to almost say like a clovey kind of note. But yeah, no, it's definitely enjoyable so far. So, into my way to the last third of the stick now. Now, so the second third we had like sort of like the real sweet flavours, like the chocolatey notes, vanilla, nuts, cinnamon, pepper, uh, like sort of floral notes. Um, into the last third, it definitely has like compounded down into like a, a, a stronger flavour now. It's like it's well into sort of the medium mark, to be honest. Um, it's got like a peppery spice to it, uh, uh, coffee, cedar, uh, the almond is still there which we noticed like in the first third as well and the leather notes are fairly prominent as well so yeah it's, it's been an enjoyable smoke so far like I say an expensive stick at £40 a cigar for a Robusto which is quite sort of up there in the Robusto size so yeah I have enjoyed it it's been, been a very very nice smoke again just another lovely stick by Davidoff to be honest like I said they're, they're becoming a quite a sort of favorite of mine now I'm definitely enjoying the Davidoff sticks now especially as my, my palette's changed and I'm starting to pick up like flavors which I wouldn't really pick up before so yeah have enjoyed it so I'm gonna put this up on the board now That's where we're at on the board. Um, I don't know what you guys think. If you've had one of these, obviously, please feel free to drop us a comment below. Or if there's a very similar stick or something which you think I should try if I have enjoyed this, then obviously, please put it in the box below. Yeah, obviously, thank you very much for watching. And obviously, we've got a lot more Davidoff coming up. Um, I've actually brought some really, really rare cigars. Um, one of them is one of, I think it's 600 boxes, well, 600 packs of 10 worldwide. And I've managed to get my hands on a pack. So. I will be putting it up on the channel. So if you are a Davidoff fan, obviously please keep an eye and uh, obviously please give us a like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, see you on the next one.